So I just came out here actually to fill my goat feeders for an upcoming feral goat competition, and I swear, one of these goats looked really, really big, but I don't know where it got to. That one right there. Okay, so I knew I saw like the 300, uh, like, kind of horns for the goats. I don't know if it's actually going to make 300, because sometimes they end up being a little below, but I, I think that's probably going to make it up to 390, so it's not like the max estimate, but that's pretty big, and I've got the 6.5 panther, so we should be able to get it pretty easily, as long as we can actually see it. Where'd it go? That's not the one. It must have gone behind the hill or something. How the heck did he get way out there? I'm going to try to get that. Nice. I just didn't want him to go any further. But there's that piebald there. I'm going to try to get that too, just because. Okay, I actually thought I hit that. Still didn't hit it. Alright, it's actually hit now, at least. I honestly thought those first shots were good, though. I think we hit it again. Alright, finally. That didn't go quite as well as the first one, but let's mark that, because I can easily see myself not being able to find that now that we actually got it, but I'm pretty sure I've never killed a white uh, feral goat over 300, so that could actually be a first and like literally on the way to fill the feeders so I could hunt them for the competition later which is kind of unfortunate but here's our piebald by the way piebald goats are not like rare in classic the only rare feral goat is albino so that's not special and like I said I think this could be my first um 300 scoring white feral goat which would be pretty cool my personal best is I think right on 340 so if it tops 340 We'll actually have it in the trophy lodge. If not, I don't think I'm going to mount it. But still, it could actually be pretty cool. Because I know I've killed a 300 orange and like the shaggy orange. I'm not sure if I even have a 300 uh, black goat, to be honest. They maybe have all been orange. But this could be something new for us. Honestly, horns look pretty decent. So let's see. 323. Honestly, not too bad. The shot, too, somehow got into the lung, but we're going to try to set up some kind of trophy shot here real quick. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to mount it, but still, I want to get a picture of it. I think we're going to go with this. I just could not find an angle I liked, but I feel like that shows off like the length of the horns the best, so pretty decent go, like I said, for literally going to fill the feeders. That's just a really nice bonus kill. Alright, so I'm actually on my first feeder run uh, since I filled those, and I've entered the feral goat competition, and I just spotted another really big white goat somewhere out here. I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's just a little bit further over there. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I think he's bigger. I feel like his horns are like longer. I don't know. And he's up. I'm pretty sure that's the max estimate. So, really good sign. I'm going to go ahead and get in my tripod just so we have a nice steady rest to get him. But that could very well place us in the competition. He looks huge to me. Maybe I'm just uh, putting, you know, a lot of hope in this. But check the feeder real quick. That's definitely not anything worth shooting. I want to spot it just to get my spotting up because the huge range on these makes it really difficult to know if we're looking at a good one. But I have the 764 now. And I don't see anything else, so let's go ahead and drop this guy. Alright, nice. So, I don't know how much the feeder came into play here because he wasn't even at it, but he may have been, like, attracted to it or whatever. But yeah, go figure. I was just talking about it, and... Now we have our second, I think 300 plus, uh, white feral goat. I'm pretty sure this guy's bigger, but I mean, it could be just like the range or the angle we had, because a lot of the feral goats that I've shot, I thought were going to be huge and they end up being low 300s, but that's really cool still. 
like now that we're in the competition, we should probably place in it. I don't know, uh, like how high of a score you usually need to win these, but I'm just guessing not a ton of people do the feral goat hunting, so hopefully anyway. But he is right there. I mean, his horn looks up, like it sticks up really high to me. Almost hits me in the face. All right, what do we got for this dude? 372, holy. That's my biggest goat by, I think, 32. And yeah, that's got us in first. That might win us the entire competition, literally, on our first attempt. I thought he looked big. And again, it's a white one. I'm pretty sure there's like a notable difference between this dude and the 323. But how lucky is that? Literally, we find a pretty nice goat going to the feeders to set them up. And then just a huge one once the comp starts. Not really even at the feeder. That's just crazy. I am seriously so bad at taking trophy shots of feral goats. I don't know what angle to do, but we're going to go with that. And we're actually going to send that to the trophy lodge. I don't remember the last time I added something to a classic trophy lodge, but that's really cool. I can't believe we just got that. So there's another competition for feral goat with a bow. Because we just won that one. I think we actually won it yesterday. Uh, it officially ended. And I'm going to check my feeders again since they were filled. And there was another pretty good goat here right by the lodge, actually. It's not at my feeder. But I have to kill it with a bow. And we're going to try to get in range. This guy was like a black shaggy one. I don't think he was huge. I think he was like mid-range. But I don't know where the heck he got to. Okay, how the heck? Oh, he's way over there now. Yeah, he's like, he's got the shorter horns for sure. But I think he could place in this comp, like, especially since it's a bow one. But I'm going to see if I can get his attention and just get that shot in there. Maybe. God, I could not get that lined up. That did hit him. Probably not well, but really all I need to do is get an arrow in him because they aren't that tough. Uh, I think even a body shot's going to kill him within a couple of minutes, but maybe if we're lucky, that's going to hit intestines and he'll die within like maybe two, three minutes and it won't be a big deal to track him. You know what? That's lung heart blood. That's crazy. He's going to be dead like not too far up here then. I can't believe we ended up getting him in the lungs then. So I don't know that this guy's even going to get first place currently because the comp just started. But there's like a 290 something in first. But I do think he could easily get second. I think he's probably like a 240s uh, range goat. But he shouldn't be too much further up here. And yeah, he's down right here. So I don't know how we got a lung at that angle, but... We'll take that all day. That's a weird shot. And 278, actually. You know, I can see this dude actually staying in top three, maybe. Especially since I think the, uh, the comp we won with that 372, third place was only in the 200s anyway. That one was like, you know, any weapon. So with the bow, I, I could see this actually staying there. And at least he's like a different colored one, so that's kind of cool. But we'll see if we can... Get something lined up here. Not too worried about the trophy shot for that, but... Yeah, maybe we can place in another comp. You know, it's quite rare that I actually make an addition to this lodge anymore. Like, I just rarely top a lot of the kills that are in here, so... It's actually quite nice to get something new in here, and... The fact that it's, like, my personal best by 30 is really cool. I don't know, I think... This pose is just going to be best because you get to see, like, the length of the horns the most. But 372.441 and a competition winner is just really cool. Literally like my first hunt on the feeders. We go and kill a 323 to go fill them, and then a 372 as the first hunt. And then we get that one with the bow, which uh, currently still is in second place. So I don't know if that's going to stay, but pretty dang cool. I really thought it looked good, but I... Didn't think it was going to be that big. That's awesome. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.